We are on Excel 1 now, creating a worksheet and chart. Excel is a different software program, and even if you know how to use Word pretty well, you might get stopped dead in your tracks when we came to Excel. And it's not that it's hard, it's just that it is new. And for almost everybody, it's going to be new. That's okay, new is fun. I mean, if you already, if you only ever do the same things over and over again, that's pretty boring. Excel is used more for numbers, but there are many, I use it for many other things that are text typing based, not just for numbers. It's to your benefit to learn this program. And many of the students, I asked the students when they had left, what was the most useful thing you learned? I asked what's the most fun thing they learned and they all said PowerPoint. Not everybody, but almost. And then I asked what's the most useful thing you learned, even if it wasn't fun. And they almost all say Excel. And that's because you can use it for so many things if you understand the basic features. So that's what we'll give you an introduction to here. We're way over here and it's the, now in the paper book, it's the green edged pages is where we're shooting for. And we're going to get you started with the basic features. It's a table format. And uh, how to put the numbers in and how to format the numbers just like we formatted words and we formatted paragraphs. So we're going to do the same thing again here. And then we'll use let the computer be the calculator. And if you say, I can't do math, it's okay. The computer is going to do the math. All you have to know is how to put in the formula to make the computer do the math. Really, it's a if, mindset, you know, that self brainwashing thing. And we'll use styles again. And then uh, there are some different features for printing a spreadsheet. No, we'll, we'll get there. What we're going to call this gadget we're going to make is a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet will look something like this. And I have it zoomed way in so I can only see part of the page at a time, just so you know. The top ribbon looks very similar to Word. Some things are the same, some things are different. We expect that, but it works the same way. And we're going to have a heading, just as we had a styled heading for our letterhead and for our flyer, we'll have a heading here. That you do it a little bit different way, but it's the same idea. And notice that we have one long bar, but it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So we have many columns. Remember columns have caps and rows run across the page. We're doing the same thing again. So you have the columns here and we're going to merge and center the columns across all of the cells we're going to use. So we went from A over to N way over here and we took all those cells and made them one big cell. That's merge and center. It's not hard to do as long as you understand what the concept is. And then we use styles to make it pretty. And here we use styles to have this in blue and centered and um, bold. And we put a blue underline under. That's just a style. That's all it is. Styles are they're up here on the home tab. We put some numbers in and we told the computer for some of the numbers, put in a dollar sign. And for some of the numbers, don't put a dollar sign. That's called comma style. You'll see about that. We made categories for income and expenses. And then at the bottom of each of these little columns, so that's one location and here's another location, we told the computer to add them up for us. We didn't get out. If you get out your phone and start going like this, you did it wrong, okay? You let the computer do it. That's the whole trick. And even down here, we told the computer, take this and subtract this and tell us what our net is. So don't get if you're not a math person, don't get freaked out yet. Just follow the directions and do exactly what it says. The second thing we'll do as part of a spreadsheet in a workbook. Oh, by the way, this is a tab down here. That's one worksheet. In a Word document, you have page one, page two, page three. Now we're in Excel and we have worksheet one, worksheet two, worksheet three. We gave them all different names. But in these worksheets, and the whole file is called a workbook, if you care. I'm, you know, we made a chart. 
and the chart is a visual depiction or a picture of the spreadsheet. So we're here we have number, 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 and some people, the left brains love that. The right brains like this because you can look at it and get an idea of the percentages and the comparisons between them. We'll learn how to do both of those. Those are the activities we'll work on in, in Word and Excel 1. Then uh, when we get to Excel 2, we'll do a little bit just more advanced of the same thing.